This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, so last stream was probably the most uncomfortable stream I've ever done. I was deeply, deeply uncomfortable by what was going on, and I'm really hoping that it just gets better from here on out. It's a pretty low bar to go over. But I have a theory on that, so... Last stream was kind of the sex stuff, and I know the, all of the blatantly AO explicit stuff was cut out of it, but there was still some stuff that's a little saucier than I would like to show on stream and in my YouTube VODs, so... I'm guessing there might be one more of those, because, like, the first... The first explicit part, like, apparently they didn't, they didn't go all the way. I bet they will go all the way at some point in this, in this route, and maybe we'll have to censor that. But hopefully after that, everything will be gone and it'll just go to story. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Anyhow, let's continue. Okay, get rid of the test. Okay, interesting. Let's go. An everyday life is like a tower of blocks built by a child. In other words, a random assortment of materials in all sizes, shapes, and kinds, thrown together haphazardly into a structure that just barely manages to stay balanced. When even a single block starts to tremble, the whole tower will begin to teeter dangerously, placing especially heavy stress on the pieces closest to the disturbance. And the more crucial that block is to the stability of the whole, the more severe the disruption. Yes, that is an accurate description of the game Jenga. Oh no. Aw oh, man, cheap little figures. Is it like a plush doll, or is it like a plastic model? If it's a plastic model, then we're gonna glue it back on. And if it's like, if it's plush, then we gotta find someone who knows how to sew. Either way, probably Sachi can fix it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, MMA? That's... That's martial arts, I think. Not WWE. This is not John Cena! Super good, yeah. Oh, Sachi's got it. Boom! See? What's going on? Amini stops halfway through her sentence with a glance toward the window, where Sachi stands in full maid uniform, gazing vacantly out at the scenery. After returning from our date three days ago, the girl's been constantly looking off into the distance with the dazed demeanor of some grizzled old soldier who's just discovered the war ended five years ago. Wow. はい。今日の三島崎の天気は晴れのち曇りで、降水確率は 20% that said, she still answers when you talk to her directly, if a bit oddly. Apparently, she's just lost in thought. Hi, Florin! Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Thus far, the stream is going a lot better than uh, last week's. I'm, I'm liking this. The first of the others to realize Sachi's abnormal condition was Michiru, understandably enough, considering she's dependent on the girl's help for a good third of her daily routine. Yeah, Michiru, we need to work on that a bit. But her vague report that Sachi's acting kinda weird spread throughout our small dormitory in the blink of an eye. And after three straight days of this odd behavior, everyone's obviously begun to treat their communal maid a little gingerly, generally refraining from their normal barrage of requests. Okay, just go down to the local staples, buy some super glue, boom. I know it's Japan and they don't have a local staples, but find the J Japanese equivalent. Yeah, just go to the convenience store. <laughs> Makina, we need to work on that a little bit. I've got your glue right here. Stopping the pair just as they're making their way toward the front door, I hold up a small tube of super glue. Wow, rude. While we're at it, I'll reattach Professor Dave's arm for you. 
Yeah, I'm no surgeon, but I've got experience of uh, Saturian level two lacer Saturian level two lacerations. Leave it to me. Pfft. You gotta talk like that, bro. <laughs> He's just showing off. I provide the glue they needed and even reattach the good professor's arm. Normally, this would be a satisfactory resolution to the matter, but Amine seems disinclined to give me a pat on the back. She's still jealous. Of course, I did give everyone a rough explanation once they noticed Sachi's strange behavior. But since I deliberately stayed vague on the details, it seems I haven't quite convinced them to passively sit on their hands. Got something to say? I'll listen. Didn't I already explain this? Until Sachi finds the answer on her own, I'm going to stand by and watch over her. I can't deny the possibility exists. Well, you all need to be less dependent on her. Like, what specifically? Okay, let's give the poor girl some cooking lessons. And laundry lessons. I see. So first of all, Michiru is going to hit a lifestyle crisis. Well, she kind of needs to. Like, I like the girl, but she needs to be more independent and not rely on other people so much. Can't deny that Amine has a point. Apart from looking after the care and feeding of Michiru, Sachi's been more or less single-handedly maintaining the facilities of this school. In terms of her duties, she's less of a class rep and more of a diligent janitor. That's also a problem. With no one left playing that role, it's all too clear that the campus as a whole will soon be experiencing all sorts of difficulties. And then Chizuru will realize, oh wait, as principal, I need to hire staff. I can't rely on Sachi for all this. Understood. I'll take over the miscellaneous duties she's normally been taking care of. Well, probably not. Well, you know, one thing led to another. She was really sad that we had to return the shark float. I see. Even more than their words, the expressions on their faces convey keen concern for Sachi. I can understand their feelings. Not that I'm planning to change course, but if this situation drags on for too long, I'll have to consider trying to push things along. I think that just needs a thorough cleaning, Michiru. Cleaning spray. Did the toilet overflow? Probably because it hasn't been cleaned. Yep. Well, looks like all the other girls are going to have to take turns cleaning the bathroom. じゃあ。さっちが<laughs> she's not. That's why you need to clean it. I don't think that that made the cut for the Ten Commandments. Alright, I'll take care of the Grand Bath. Oh, how, oh, how convenient. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I'll, we can do this. Oh, let's make it a party! 
だったらサチ自体をなんとかしなさいよあんたサチの彼氏でしょ Why does everyone keep telling me this? I know who I am. I know where you're coming from, but this self reflection is a phase Sachi has to go through right now. それは前も聞いたけど、あんたはサチがかわいそうだと思わないの Wouldn't say I pity her, but I'm aware that I'm making her go through something harsh. <laughs> 自覚はあるって、あんたが何もしないなら、私がサチに頼んで。Listen to me, Michiru. As an angry scowl spreads across Michiru's face, I grab her by the shoulders and stare straight into her eyes. Yeah, if somebody goes up to Sachi and says, Stop worrying so much, she'll return to normal. But she's in this school for a reason. And if we pull her back now because it's hard to watch her struggle, she's never going to get out. Try to understand. Sorry. I do understand that you're all genuinely worried about her. Where's Yumiko in all this? Apparently, the three of them understand my way of thinking. I wouldn't say they're entirely satisfied, but there are no further objections. Anyway, the fame of Sachi's probably going to cause everyone some problems for a while, but try to bear with it for now. もともと私たちがサッチャーに頼りすぎてたところもあるし、エリを正すいい機会かも。That's the way to, that's the way to think, Amine. Good job. サッチンのためになるって言うなら、私も頑張ってみるのよさ。Right. Looks like we've reached a tentative understanding. <laughs> hey, Nick, how's it going? It took 250 parts for them to complete this? Uh oh. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be doing all of the routes. Right now, I'm just focused on the Sachi route. But, yeah, I, I believe that. This is definitely turning out to be. The routes are turning out to be much longer than Clanade, so. I'm, I'm approaching episode. I can't even remember what episode of this I'm on now. Yeah, I'm approaching, like, the triple digit episodes a lot faster than I was thinking, so. And we still haven't even finished one route. In that case, I'm going to start it off by cleaning the Grand Bath. Appreciate the offer, but let me handle it on my own this time. Especially when someone spilled Nickelodeon slime all over it. サッチャに課題を出したのはユージなわけだし、その分なるべく私たちには負担をかけたくないって思ってるんじゃない？だとしたら、あいつも人のこと言えないくらい面倒な性格してるわよ。Yep。それにお兄ちゃんが一番サッチのことを心配してるはずなのよ。そうね。じゃあさ、そっとしておいてあげる以外で。私たちがサチの力になれることってないの力になるって言ってもサッチャが何に悩んでるのかがわからないとねだったらサッチに聞いてみればいいんじゃねどんな課題出されたのってああそっかちょちょっと待ってそれってなんか反則のような気もするんだけどだとしてもまずは聞いてみないとわからないでしょもしかしたら、ハマネさんみたいな無駄にエロい人には教えられないって言われるかもしれないんだし。ニジル、いだだだだ、ごめん、私が悪かったからやめて、グリグリしないで、ニル、ごめんそでちゃうから。Jeez, stop with the chokehold <笑>。まあ、私も力になりたい気持ちは同じだし。ここはどうしたらいいか相談してみようか。ああ、ああ、ああ。相談するって誰によ。それはもちろん、プロフェッサーワイに決まってるのよさ。というわけで、みんなで協議し合った結果、私たちはあなたにおせっかいのことに決めたわ。わお。That happened. 
Also, why are they in the classroom now? So, Kazami-kun to no date kara kaette kita hato ni Komine-san no yosu ga hen ni natta no akirakata da shi. That definitely doesn't look suspicious. Kazami-kun kara mo sukuna kara zu jijou wa kiite iru wa. Sachi ni wa kadai o dashita tte. So deshita ka. Dakara, Komine-san ga sono kadai no koto de nayande iru nara そうだ。ここなら急に風見くんが通りかかるという可能性も低いし、同じ女性同士払うわって。I do appreciate that they're all genuinely trying to help Sachi and they're not just like, we need the dirt. Thank you, Yumiko. I like how she's opening up and being much less murdery. わかりました。私も数日考えて答えが出ないままですし、このままではユウ君や皆さんに迷惑をかけ続けてしまいます。Alright, we're getting somewhere. Yukunkaranokadai. ユージの出した課題にとても簡単なことと全くわからないものが混じってて。うん、確かにそんな感じよね。え、あの課題の中に簡単なものがあったんですか？まあそれも私たちの考えがあっていればなのだけれど。それでも構いません。ぜひ
教室の席を有事のそばに移したのもね。Oh, yeah, that did happen. もしそれがユウくんのことを好きだという証拠なら私はもうずいぶん前からユウくんのことが好きだったということになります。へえ、じゃあサッチンはお兄ちゃんのことが好きだっていう自覚がなかったのに。That's that right there is kind of the、uh... What's making me raise an eyebrow or two? You can go not the whole sheet, the tetashi, but a small yaja nakata. Yaja nite Sasugani Kononi Busadato, Yujin, Dojo Chawane. That's canny. Sumima said, What does she know? Sashiga Wari said, Minasani Gomevaku. Dakarate, I am a Rusia, and I get all. 私たちの言いたいことはなんとなく伝わったはい。付き合い始めた頃より、私がユウくんのことを好きになったから、ということですよね。そういうこと。ってことは、これで課題の一つはクリアってことじゃないだといいのですが。その代わりに、もう一つの課題が難問なのよさ。This whole conversation is reminding me of that one enchanted song. How do you know that you love her? Kazumi-kun got Kumina-san in Kizuita Hoshi Koto to you, Kukurida. A marine about to sing it. Hi, so Tirani can't stay. What does she more can't also that's get out in my country? They stay. That was Tara. She can't look at the Kanga take Kushkanai no Kamo. つまり答えが出るまでこういう会議を開いていくってわけねあの私は嬉しいのですがそんなに協力してもらっていいんでしょうかそんなの当たり前じゃない私たちの方から相談に乗らせてくれって頼んでるのよ Very true, ミチルミチル様そういうわけだから私にもどんどん相談してほしいのよ You're not the best one for advice, though, Makina. In fact, you might be the worst. Makita. So, then, the committee, sir, this meeting will be held in the future. It's not a problem for us. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Oh, yay! Meanwhile, at the, at the local bathhouse... Damn, that took nearly two hours! When cleaning a large area alone, there's an inevitable cost in terms of both time and physical energy. And Sachi's been doing this practically every day. No matter how efficient she is, that's some serious effort she's putting in for our benefit. Oh, hey, Principal! What are you doing in the dorm? Sorry, Princess, but you're a little young to be in here. This is a grown-up building. Wow! You can't talk to the Principal like that! Chizuru, uh, I. Oni mo kimi ona mono o mita yona kao shinai de. Itsu mo kara kawarete iru shikaisu ni shoto no kate mita dake desho. Well, well played, Principal. Right, sure. Sorry, maybe. Oh, did he not realize who it was? Normally, the woman gets all in a huff over even my gentlest jokes. So I was honestly afraid she just lost it. At least he said that she's young. Yeah, but he was saying that in like a very condescending way. Good question. Don't know, but the women I sleep with seem to love it. Well, maybe you need to find higher quality women. I mean, what? So, what are you doing all the way out here anyway? Something urgent come up? Oh, yes, summer vacation! Uh, something you wanted to tell us about? Oh, wait, we're on summer vacation. Ah, it's, it's fine. Chizuru stands before us with both arms folded behind her back, the very picture of a composed principal addressing her students. You'd never guess that she was role playing as a schoolgirl all of 30 minutes ago. Fortunately, it didn't take long to gather the others. I got in touch with Aminate right away, and apparently all five of them were off doing something as a group for once. They went to Dairy Queen without me? This will not stand! 
重要な連絡事項って何ですか Mint Oreo is the blizzard of the month and it's my favorite. もしかして、真夏日が終わるまで夏休みを延長するとか Does that sound like something a principal would do? それなら私も大賛成よ。なんなら一年中真夏日でもいいくらいだし。<laughs> Then you're on the street. エアコンがなくてもすみません、学園長。話を続けてください。<laughs> <laughs> I didn't even finish my sentence. No, we want good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. <laughs> That's when Michu decided to go back to Dairy Queen. Wow. <laughs> well, a lot can happen over summer vacation, Principal. Sorry, Principal Tachibana. They seem to be suffering from an overdose of summer vacation. I'll make sure to discipline them later. <laughs> Hey, I'm the dorm leader. No. That's, that's my face right now. I relate to Principal more than any other character in this. Oh no, not the SATs. Oh no, it is the SATs. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Oh, cool. Except there is a, still a problem with that. I don't know about you guys, but um, at least for mathematics, once you learn the more advanced math, it makes the less advanced math a lot easier and faster. Like, for example, I took the ACT standardized test many, uh, like, three different times, and the first time I took it, uh, I kind of struggled on the math because you have, like, one minute for each question. But after I took calculus, all those questions became a lot easier because you can either use, like, eight steps of algebra or one step of calculus. Guess which one is faster and easier? So, there is, there is still going to be a bit of a uh, disadvantage, but that's okay. There's only six people taking it. Ouch! I hate studying. Maybe she just needs a study buddy. What? Intending to make use of those sometime soon, Principal? No, that is very, very. How is she not expelling us for that? What was the purpose of that? Beads of sweat rolling down her forehead, the Principal frantically wraps up her announcement and scampers out of the dorm. Not the most dignified retreat I've ever seen. We'll get Dairy Queen carry out and we'll do a study session. You two are the ones who need it the most! Mishu, I don't think you understand why we're doing this. Test! 
私がこの世で2番目に嫌いなものが夏休み明けに待ってるのよ Can't, well, you hate it, but we kind of need them. じゃあ、一番嫌いなのは子供に決まってるじゃない。Mitru, what? <laughs> what the heck? 自分を嫌いなものの一番に持ってくるのも珍しいわね。Fatality! Wow! Holy cow! I did not expect Mitru to hate children. I also did not expect Yuma. Well, actually, it's kind of in Yumiko's character to. <laughs> to snark like that. Okay, I understand that you hate tests, but the point of this feign is to investigate scholastic achievement levels. It's not going to influence your grades, even if you do terribly, right? What? What? テストって言葉を聞いただけで具合が悪くなるようなレベルのことを言うのよごめんそこ威張るとこ<笑> Does she look proud, Amine? I, she didn't sound proud either. A pathological testophobe, is it? That's a new one. <笑> Alright, guess she doesn't want Dairy Queen. とうとううなり出したわね。Makana, you've got photographic memory. You can just read the textbooks, take photos, and then boom. Michiru! No! We've already. Not again! We've already done this! This is just a repeat of a previous plot point. The instant Michiru yelps out her desperate entreaty, time comes to a halt. For me and Sachi, at least, the others simply glance in Michiru's direction with standard expressions of exasperation and pity. Normally, I might have reacted in the same way, but since I know about the events that brought Sachi to this school, those words hit hard enough to leave me stunned. No! What the heck, Michiru? No! We're not setting fire to this school, too. <laughs> Yes, we need to do both of those things, Nick. <laughs> the frozen moment is shattered as Michiru blunders on ahead. Sachi, clearly flustered, hesitates to answer. <laughs> that was an appropriate reaction, Aminate. Thank you. Right. I'm sure she wasn't. Mitra's words lacked any real malicious intent. She'd backed herself into a corner with all that theatrical complaining, jokingly asking Sachi for help was just her attempt at an exit strategy. But... It's alright. We're going to accept that request. Wait, what? Yuji, what, what have you been smoking? Fundamentally, Sachi's going to take charge of this one. But if it seems like she's going to fail, I'll step in and make it happen. In other words, we're taking joint responsibility. What What are you planning? Hmm? Just answering Michiru's petition. We'll get rid of that test as requested. What? But she's done it before. By extreme methods. I wouldn't be so pessimistic. Just so happens that you asked someone who's successfully gotten rid of a test before. <laughs> Yum oh, she knows. Yumiko knows. And she's not happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there will be plenty of options on Craigslist for nearby schools for sale. Especially ones as nice as this campus. Time to replace all the kerosene in the world with, uh, water. Yeah, she did. To borrow Michiru's phrase, she's been an invincible maid for a very long time now. Sachin's 
Oh, we, the principal's gonna be the one who goes to the classroom to give us the test, right? All we gotta do is lock her in the principal office. Bada beam, bada boom. That's going to be a secret until the day of the exam. Oh, okay, we're gonna burn the whole campus to the ground. Tell me something, Michiru. Which is the more enjoyable way to receive a present? When you know what's inside or when you don't? Right. Same deal here. You're too kind. Sachi sits quietly on the sidelines as I push the discussion forcefully ahead, her eyes fixed on me. Guess I'm asking after the fact, but I assume you're alright with this, Sachi. I'm glad that she's like, I don't really want to do this. She's clearly hesitant to do it. After all, turning her down would mean that you're refusing to help someone. Guess that'd make you a bad girl. Wow! I don't like that psychological manipulation. In other words, you'll accept the request. He better have some master plan and... Wow. This better have a good ending. Right. And for you, a good girl is a person who does what they're told, never refusing, never objecting, a wind-up doll marching along the path others have set out for it. Yeah, I'm with Yumiko on this one. She, I think Yumiko knows about Sachi's past, and she is, like, very, very much not happy with us. Sachi wouldn't joke about this. And since I've assumed responsibility for her success, her success I won't allow her to fail. That's right. Rest assured, we'll take care of it. Feel free to slack off for the rest of your summer vacation. The things we do for you, Michiru. Sachi, you have a second. As the group disperses, I stop Sachi before she can leave the lobby. Noticing that I'm running my eyes over her clothing, she requests an explanation in a slightly puzzled tone of voice. Not really. Your street clothes the other day left a strong impression, so I was just doing a little mental comparison. I see. No, that's all right. Not necessary. Yeah. There's no meaning in her wearing those clothes unless she does it of her own initiative. The conversation grinds to a halt. For a moment, there's a vaguely awkward silence between us. Depends. What do you want to know? Let's see. Little tricky to explain, actually. Mainly, I thought accepting that request would help you find the answer to the questions I gave you the other day. Yeah. Also, I wanted to see how you'd react today when I faced uh, when faced with the same request you accepted back then. And if you didn't refuse, how you'd try to carry it out. Do it a different way. Long well, story short, you could say I dragged you into this for my own selfish reasons. Yeah, but we basically forced you to. Right. I 
I don't know what Sachi thinks about the incident she caused at her previous school. I don't know whether she regrets it or hides behind rationalizations. But when Michiru asked her to get rid of the test, Sachi hesitated for a moment with uncertainty in her eyes. And after I pushed her into consenting, she asked me why. At the very least, something about the idea of repeating her actions made Sachi uncomfortable. Even unsettled. That's a good sign! That she nonetheless decided to accept that request can only mean one thing. The laws that bind Sachi haven't loosened their grip on her. Ah, sorry. It's nothing. Anyway, one last thing I wanted to ask. Do you have a plan in mind for getting rid of this test? Please don't burn the campus down. Already succeeded once, huh? Well, in that case, I guess I probably won't need to get involved. Alright then. Sorry for holding you up. With a smile and a demure little bow, Sachi calmly heads back to her room. Hmm. Sachi may be confident now, but if she attempts to use the same method as before, she's almost certainly going to fail. That's not a problem in itself. Sachi has to fail if she's ever going to break out of this status quo. But failure, failure alone would likely accomplish nothing more than leaving a new wound on her heart. Failure is necessary, but she can't allow herself to fail. The solution's obvious enough. She just needs to fail by succeeding. There's a fundamental contradiction hiding inside the laws Sachi's bound herself to. And if she needs to help, and if she needs help to realize its existence, I'll use any means necessary to provide the key. This is going bad, but also it's getting interesting. A little before midnight, there is a sudden knock at my door. Sakaki, right? It's not locked. When I said Sachi had gotten rid of a test before, you were the only one who looked startled. Yes! I thought I just always glared at you like that. Well, you kind of do. I'm a part-time cleaner, after all. Can't overlook even the smallest specks of dust. Repeating my words with a knowing tinge of irony, Sakaki walks to the center of my room, letting the door close behind her. So, why drop by a man's room at this hour? Decided it was about time to throw away your vig- WOW! Why are you sad to say that? I, I, I would have punched him in the face for that. Ah, money troubles then. In that case... Just don't be weird, bro. And what would that be? Noting a clear change in the tone of Sakaki's voice, I decided wisest to stop teasing her. <laughs> Why, yes, Yumiko! I did! <laughs> I have heard rumors about that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm dating the perpetrator. Interesting story. Sounds a bit far-fetched, though. Can't promise anything until I hear the question. Define dangerous. What if I say it's a possibility? With clear anger in her voice, Sakaki takes out her box cutter and pushes up the, up the blade with a violent snap. I admire the spirit, but the odds of you actually touching me with that thing aren't even one in a hundred. Alright, I've got the message. My bad. Do me a favor and put away the weapon. Does she just have that on her at all times, and even when she's sleeping? When I declare my surrender, Sakaki heaves a long, heavy sigh and slowly sheaths her makeshift knife. To be perfectly honest, the potential risk depends on how things play out. I can't say for sure whether she'll be in any danger, but no matter what means Sakasachi chooses to use in pursuit of her objective, I can promise you I'll protect her with everything I've got. That not good enough? No, I can't. You're concerned about Sachi's safety to the point of menacing me with a box cutter. 
it had rubbed me the w wrong way to make you a promise I can't keep. And the truth is, drastic measures may prove necessary. So... The old end justifies the means approach, which, by the way, is not true. Sorry, but I can't be the one to tell you that. Anyway, Sachi's not the only one who's going to be affected by this. Might end up inconveniencing you and the others as well. Yeah. Of course, I promise to contain any danger and keep you all safe. But if things do get ugly, I'd appreciate your help. We are going to freaking burn the school down. It wasn't... Aren't visual novels supposed to be kind of choice-based? Like, can't I get the choice of, like, burn down the school? Don't burn down the school. <laughs> oh, if you pick don't burn down the school, you get the bad ending. What? <laughs> I'm aware of that, but I'm still asking. Please, Sakaki. Right. Appreciate it. Hmm. That's supposed to be your take on Michiru's Sundere thing? Sakaki turns away with a scowl. I'm not sure if she's really too disgusted to look at my face, or if she's just trying to hide the light blush on her cheeks. Hey, Sakaki. All this time, I've been more than a little dubious about this whole thing. This place, this lifestyle, being a student. But as of right now, I think I'm over all that. I'm glad I came to this school. Who knows? Maybe I just wanted you to hear it. I like her smile. Sakaki quietly leaves my room with an uncharacteristically gentle expression on her face. <sighs> Although I hadn't expected it to happen this way, I've managed to gain something of an accomplice. Sakaki possesses both level-headed judgment and the ability to project authority. I don't think anyone's better suited to take care of the others when and if the time comes. But even with the cooperation of our classmates more or less assured, there are still plenty of problems I need to take care of. And if my estimate of the situation is correct, the drastic measures I mentioned are absolutely going to prove necessary. Which means I need to get moving. <laughs>